So hey guys, a few days ago I was getting in the car with a couple of bags and I went to put them in the passenger seat and I ended up bumping the rear view mirror and knocking it off. So today I'm going to show you how to reinstall it. Alright, so here's a few items you're going to need. First of all, you're going to need rear view mirror adhesive, a razor blade to remove the old adhesive from the windshield, but first you'll want to mark the outside of the glass with a marker, so you'll need a marker for that. And then I've got some Windex here because I'm going to be handling the mirror and everything and then afterwards I'll want to get all the fingerprints and smudges off of that. And you can see my button here. Now to install it, you'll need to remove the button from the mirror. And on our cars, all it does is slide on. So you'll just take your thumb and slide it off like that. So as you can see, the adhesive here on the windshield tells me where the rear view mirror used to sit. Now if I go inside and scrape this off then I'll have no idea where to put it back. So what I'm going to do is take this marker and I'm going to draw on the outside of the glass so that way I know exactly where to put it back. might be hard to see on camera but I can clearly see it here now if you've already removed the adhesive then you may not have any idea where to put it back so in that case all you need to do is find the center of your windshield roughly there and then go down about 97 millimeters and that will tell you where the top of the button will sit. So now that I have it marked on the windshield on the outside, I can go ahead and scrape off the adhesive inside. And once you have all the adhesive off the windshield, then you're going to go ahead and remove all the adhesive from the button in the same manner. Once all that's removed, we're going to take our rear view mirror adhesive here and we're going to read the instructions first. So we're going to remove the button from the rear view mirror bracket, which we've already done. And then make sure we made a note of which side faces upward. You can see here that I'm going to install it like this here, so that way the rear view mirror can slide onto it. On the outside of the windshield, you'll want to make a mark, which we've already done. I'm actually going to remove my dash cam here, so that way you guys can see this better and then we're going to open our cleaner and activator and then we're going to pull back the towelet so I'll go ahead and do that I'll open it like this here so once you have your activator out and you have it open like this you're going to take it and wipe it on your windshield here and you're going to let this dry for two solid minutes. Do not apply it to the button. Only the adhesive goes to the button. And once this is dry, I'm going to apply the adhesive and I'm going to stick it on there like that. So I'm going to let that dry for now and when I come back, we'll apply it. All right, so it's been two minutes and I'm going to go ahead and apply my adhesive to the button here. We we'll just want one drop applied to it. Only apply the adhesive to the button. Do not apply it to both the windshield and the button. And you want to make sure that you have it oriented correctly. Stick it back where the other one was. Hold 
this in place for about a minute. And after you've held it for about a minute, you're gonna let this sit for about 30 minutes before you reinstall the mirror. So I'll go ahead and clean all this up. And I'll come back out in 30 minutes and install the mirror. All right, so I've let this sit for 30 minutes. Now I'm gonna take my rear view mirror and slide it on the button here. And that's just about it. All I need to do now is take some Windex and wipe off all my fingerprints. And then I'll go around outside and I'll wipe off all that marker that I put on the windshield. All right, guys, I got my rearview mirror put back on now, and I'm glad to have it back. So that's just about gonna do it for this video. But as many of you may know, YouTube has demonetized many smaller channels like mine. And while I wasn't making much with AdSense, every little bit did help since I'm trying to order parts and make videos every week, which can get pretty expensive. So I've opened up a Patreon account, and I'll put some of the names up on the screen now of my current patrons and if you'd like to support this channel anything you can give would be greatly appreciated and i want to thank you guys in advance but anyway guys that's going to do it and i'm going to go take this thing for a test drive now that i've got my rear view back up and uh, come join us on facebook i'll put a link in the description below and we'll see you next time